back to Let's Talk Books. Today I wanted to discuss with you reasons why I love to read. I feel like I've never actually just sat down and discussed like why I love to read. So yeah, here are the reasons why. Alright, okay, so let's just get this small reason out of the way. And one of the main reasons why I love to read is it kills time. Whether you are on the train, on the bus, in the car, on a plane, if you're bored out of your mind at a doctor's office, if you're waiting in between classes, if you're on a break for work, if you are on the toilet, I don't know. It will kill time. That is the best thing ever is when you're bored and you want to just do something and you don't want to just reach for your phone and play a game do something more productive i guess and that is to read yeah i've actually did, discovered quite a few good books when i was just bored one day and i was on like either my kindle app where i was looking for a book half of the time there are awesome books so when you're bored and you have nothing to do sometimes you just pick a random book they'll end up being like the best best book you've ever read so do that next time you were bored just pick up anything you want i feel like without reading i would not be sitting here i would not have found out about booktube and wanted to start this channel and along with that i feel like reading has just opened up this huge like door for me and this huge community that i never like knew about I guess I feel like Tumblr was a big place where a lot of book lovers went to and at the time that I was using Tumblr I really wasn't into books that that much so I was kind of not into that community yet when one day I discovered booktube and I learned that there was this huge community out there and that's when I discovered Goodreads and Bookstagram and people on Twitter and just this whole world out there and I was able to like just share my love of books with so many people. And I, and I feel like without books and without reading again, I would have never found this community. And you know, I know right now, you know, our community is getting bigger and bigger. And with that, it has become more of a place where there is more negativity and hate. And I just hope that we could just kind of go back to where it started and not be judgmental and not you know have like the bloggers versus the booktubers and just all this nonsense and bullshit that happens on social media i feel like when it comes to books this should be a place this should be a safe place and a place where everyone is wanted no matter who you are or where you come from and that's the beauty of books nowadays because there's just so many different types of books and characters and it's getting bigger and bigger and I like that we have this platform now to share these books so yeah I mean I'm just grateful that with reading I was able to find a place where I can talk about books that I love at the moment and just yeah just fangirl over anything and not feel ashamed for fangirling so reading definitely brought me here and made me want to create this channel i've discovered so many different books and so many different authors and people that i can genuinely call my friend and i have reading and books to thank for that because without that i don't think i would make a channel about books i don't think i would ever like been the first one you know so um yeah i'm really happy about that and really grateful that you know just very happy that it brought me here with you guys and it's a good thing next on my list is probably the main reason why i love to read and that is because no matter what's going on in either my life or anyone's life there's nothing more amazing than opening up a book and escaping to that book and to that world and all your problems just seem to just just go away and i know that obviously it's not healthy to always escape from your problems but you know sometimes we just need to escape and we need to just tune everything out and it's a healthy way to do so it's so great that we have that outlet to just connect to a story or to a character especially being a young adult in this day and age and no one understands us you're guaranteed to pick up a book and find a character that's like you or that 
could understand you. And I found that with so many different books and it's just so refreshing to have that book or that character as like your friend. And there's this quote, I think it says something along the lines of a, a book lover never goes to sleep alone. And I feel like that's so true because we have this like connection to these stories and every day or every week we're in, we're in a different world. And it's just something that I think is so nice to be able to go to whenever we need that. A perfect example of books helping a person. Uh, a few months ago, I was I was on a plane to England and it was my first time flying alone in a long, long time. And I remember being able to open up a book and feeling like I could like breathe again. And it was like the, the best type of like distraction that my mind needed. And it was, I was able to kind of cope with the fact that yes, you are on a plane, but yes, you will be okay. And just being fully concentrated into a book was the best thing that I was able to do for my situation. So I just appreciate books for that reason because, you know, it's like, it's your little friend that you could count on and it's a great thing to have. And, you know, I feel like that's just so important and such a healthy way to kind of cope with things and to um, learn new things. And that kind of goes with my other reason why. You learn a lot when you read. And obviously, we don't all like to read textbooks from school. And yes, we do learn a lot from those types of books. But I, but I feel like it's so important to learn about other things. And when you read books, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, we learn about a lot, whether it's about mental illness. There's a lot of books out there now that deals with mental illness. And it's something that's not always talked about. We get to read a book in a different perspective that's not like ours. Um, our mind is just open to so many different things. And it's refreshing to kind of pick up different types of books and to read from different point of views, whether they are fictional characters or like an autobiography. One day I could read a book about someone that has schizophrenia, the next someone who's a sociopath, the next someone who's dealing with their gender identity. And you're, you know, you get to explore all these different minds and you get to just be in their shoes and really understand them. And it makes you kind of just be more open-minded just to understand different things and different people being able to read so many different books and learn about so many different things and places and people i feel like i do that with every book that i read and it's very very fascinating so yeah that is all my reasons why i love to read i think i covered a lot of the things at least for myself um and let me know if some of these reasons are the same as for you or if you have any other reasons why you love to read so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.